Lovely. Right. So I'm going to use some white lotion um, instead of oil because I do find that people don't necessarily want to be too oily and greasy around the neck. It just absorbs in a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to start with effleurage like we normally do. I mean, for Itex point of view, we would have a towel over the top of the client and tucked into the bra just to protect the clothes from oil. Because it's such a warm day. We're going to ignore that for today. So again, we're going to warm up with effleurage and a bit of knuckling. It's quite nice on the chest. It's better to try and do it individually with the knuckles, I think, rather than a solid knuckle. And actually it feels quite nice to have it going down the arm as well. So we get on top of those deltoid fibres. And then again, if you get your client positioned well, the hole should help you getting underneath and into the top oh, of the supraspinatus. Oh. Too much? No, no. Sure. Yeah, crack off. Oh, here we go. This is oh. solid. Yeah. So as I said, normally I would warm it up from prone first, which I probably should have done. This is the time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then coming up into the neck. And back. Some more knuckling. That might use a bit of oil, I think. You're drying up, Chuck. Oh, my skin's very dry. It is, just, isn't it? Yes. Thirsty old thing. Yeah, it's going. It <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's better. It's not the knuckling, it's not going to be quite so vicious. Go on, push your shoulders down. That's it, I can feel them coming up. <laughs> Alright, is it too much for you? No. Sure? Mm -hmm. What number? Gotta be a six. Yeah, I thought it might be, the way your shoulders are coming mm -hmm. up. Okay, so then I'm going to do some friction. So, sternocleidomastoid attaches here on the sternum, just in there. So you might say to your client, you might feel a little bit throttled, feeling the attachments here. So we can cross fibre friction. <coughs> We've also got a muscle that's not in our syllabus, which is the um, subclavicular as well, which is quite a useful one. And when clients come to us and they say, my shoulders are up around my ears and I don't seem to be able to get them down anymore. It's usually because scalenes are tightening and shortening and 
all right? Mm. Adhering and pulling the shoulders and the ribs, they attach to the top ribs and they pull them up towards the neck. So we're going to come in here. This is loosening up a bit of the pecs as well. And if you were doing the rhomboids in the shoulders, the rhomboids and the pecs work very much together. Is that a bit tight there? Mm. Yeah, it feels like it. And then coming out just onto the attachment anteriorly of quite a few of the muscles onto the head of humerus. But I can feel your worst spot is actually up here, isn't it? Yeah. You just feel it clicking, crouch. So, from a soft tissue point of release, I can do this one with a slight abduction. So, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. Fibre friction can feel just there. Hold it. Alright. Yeah. I know it's just solid, isn't it? Do you sit at a desk or drive a lot? No, I'm just a therapist. I'm a therapist. Oh. She's done this course already. <laughs> <laughs> so, without further ado, I think I'm going to do the work on the scalings in a minute. They're tight too. Mm. Mastoid process. That's twang. I know. Okay, so I'm going to turn the head to the side, do a really nice stretch down with one hand and up with the other. And then I'm going to get in, I like to do little circles, find the spine and C7 which sticks out and just come about half an inch out and do circular <coughs> frictions. There we go. Coming up too much? No, no, it's fine. It's twanging. Big time. Now really with the neck, I don't tend to do too much on one side with the head rotated. <coughs> I find if you've really got a stiff neck, it'll seize up. Mm. So I like to rotate and make sure that I do a little bit on each side so that the client's neck, because your rotation's quite good, but not everybody's rotation is the same. So I like to do a little bit on this side and then turn it round and a little bit on the other, because mine would, would lock. Mm -hmm. And I'd end up going into spasm, which you don't want your client feeling worse by the time you've done the treatment than they did before. 
so I think it's good to take it off and then do the other side a bit. Does it feel comfortable without a pillow for the client? Yeah. yeah, and I think what it does <coughs> is it puts the muscles into a more natural position because if you've got your client slightly mm -hmm. flexed, then that makes it a little bit... I would start with a pillow, but I take it out. Mm -hmm. Then you've also got the benefit of the hole underneath. And you've got that little bit of space to work for your hand. <coughs> so if, for instance, you wanted to do a move like this, where you come underneath and you pull through, then you've got that added little space for your hand to go. I also quite like to friction along the occipital ridge. How's that feel? Mm, good. And with the fingertips. So you've got all those muscles attaching there. Just loosen it, that's better. That's looser. And along the occipital ridge as well. So what muscles have you got inserting into the occipital ridge? Uh, Sternomastoid. That's onto the mastoid process. The trapezius. Trapezius. Else? The vagus scapula comes up to the cervical bones, so not really the occipital ridge. What about the erector spinae? Yeah. That comes right up, doesn't it, and attaches. So we're going to come around. Work a little bit more, because I'm going over now, because the um, splenius capitis comes up to C2, I think that one is. What about levator scapula? That comes up to cervical bones as well. Um, trapezius attaches to the occipital ridge. We've got sternocleidomastoid attaches to the mastoid process, which is this bit here behind the ear. Then we have scalenes. Mm -hmm. Scalenes attach to cervical bones and then down onto the first couple of ribs. Mm. Okay, so I might do a pressure point along here then. What do you think? Oh, you'd struggle not to find a sore spot along there. Okay, so breathe in <laughs> and out. What number's that one? It's dropped off almost immediately, that one. Good. What about there? Yeah, that's a bit. Breathe in and out. What's that one? Six, seven. Okay. Go on. Okay. Oh, that one. Mm -hmm. Breathe in and out.
There? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. That's the tight one. Go on. Right, I'm going to turn you for this. There. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. And out. Come. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Then. And that one. Seven. Better. Mm. Okay, let's have a go at this side. Like that. Oh, yeah. Breathe in. A hand out. Numbers up. It's dropping off quick. Okay. It's gone. Okay. Oh. Seven? Yeah. Sorry, I dropped it. No, too you're soon. Right. No, no, just it's instinctively. It is actually it going gone. really quickly. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit sore. Mm. That's gone. It is. Yeah, gone. Yeah. Thank God for that. My thumb's killing me now. No, oh, I'm <laughs> sure. Okay, let's try up here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is now. Oh. oh, yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah, breathe in. And there. Uh, I wish your trapezius didn't start it on end anymore. Mm -hmm. Still there? Yeah. That one feels a bit more stubborn. That's all right. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gone. Yeah? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can feel it. Did you feel that? I did. I wasn't sure if I just lost it. No. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, no, you could just feel it go. Just, just Twang. felt it. Yeah, it was, yeah. That's better. Whereas you could see that trapezius, there's still something. There. Yeah. There. Mm-hmm. Okay, breathe in. It's a classic example of me actually having decided I wouldn't do a pro and then I should have done. Yeah. Still there? It's easy at the moment. It's That's easing, fine. but. Yeah, it's fine, but hang on. This routine's the same as the deep tissue leaflet again. Yes, and the deep tissue overlaps. Yes. Not a huge amount. Mm -hmm. It's gone now. Good. Oh yeah, because it was it was radiating right up here. It was. You could yeah. Feel it. Look at that one. Yeah. Not as bad, but not as bad. No. Okay. There. Mm -hmm. Breathe in. No wonder people use their elbows and feet. Yeah, that one's done. Come. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's better. In comparison, it's quite a lot of work on, on that, such as in an area or something. It is. It's quite intensive. Yeah. <laughs> Push back. Is the client pushing down for a few seconds? Yeah. And I think, you know, we haven't got, have we got any stretch there for you? It's not too bad. I'm, no, I'm really very bendy now, aren't I? So. Yeah, all that side. Yeah, A little good. tighter there. Yeah. Right, if you carry us on, I'll go out and have a word. Um, okay, so we're going to do a stretch. M-E-T. For the levator scapula. And I'm going to get, put my hands on the side of the face and I'm going to hold and I want Adele to push towards my hand with about 70% of her strength. So push one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you can do this all at the same side, but I find that if you do that to me, I'll have seized up. So yeah. I'm going to alternate it. <clears throat> and I'm going to get you to push again. So push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. And you're already very bendy. Most <laughs> people wouldn't be this good. And we can feel that it's gone a bit further. Yeah. And again, push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. It's gonna be like the exorcist, isn't it? <laughs> and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. And we'll do one more. In which case it'll be under our armpit. 
wouldn't be ordinary. <laughs> Push. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And again, push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's as far as anybody's necks really going <laughs> to yeah. laterally rotate. You won't get mine going that quickly, but easily. So we're going to do this one, which is a rotation. And again, we're going to apply pressure here. I'm going to ask her to see if she can turn her head towards the centre. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. Normally, people's heads don't go this easily or this far. So we have to be mindful that we don't try and push them further than we want to go. Mm. So push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. Amazing. And again, push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. And again, push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, relax. Also going to do this one because she has problems with the upper traps and the supraspinatus. So we're going to go push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yes. And again, push. And ten, yes. And again, push. And ten. And finally, because actually the sternocleidomastoid and the scalenes are quite tight, we're going to do this one. Can't see any benefit from this except that it'll loosen up the fibres. So I'm going to get you to push your head up. One, ten, relax. And again, push. Relax. Might <coughs> A little bit more in there. <coughs> Is that tight there? Mm -hmm. Okay, breathe in. And out. And again. What number is it? Not too bad, it's dropping off quite quick. Okay. Sorry. That's all right. Don't worry. Do you want both at the same time? Yeah. Or should you yeah. Want it? Go okay. For it. Yeah. Breathe in and out. That's a good eight. Too much? No. Okay, so that's your neck. And what I'm going to quickly do though is as I didn't show you what my precursor would have been, I'm going to get um, Adele just to turn over sure. the other way. Oh, You're right. done, Gail. And oh. just lie face down. So, for me. Oh, a nice one. <laughs> oh. Okay. Because I think it's a good idea. Mm. Lovely. Thank you. To start this way. And if you get the client to point their head a bit further towards the floor, then you get more neck mm -hmm. coming up. Mm. 
And I like to twang the scapula. Actually, they're quite loose now, but I would have started with a nice bit of kneading, which would have helped these a bit. And you can also get your fingers in and give it a good knead from that position. That's right, my, my neck vanishes. And you put your forehead down a little bit further, that's it. Rubbish with my left hand. You think after all these years it would be strong, wouldn't it? But it's mm. not. And that is what I would do as a precursor. So that's where we're going to start. And if you're alright for a double whammy, mm -hmm. oh yeah, then uh, <laughs> Marie is going to take over and do it all again. <laughs> ah. <laughs> At least it's a bit looser for you now, Marie. Yeah. 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 yeah.